Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Anaconda and Conda virtual environments. So for those who don't know, Anaconda is a Python package installer. So the advantage of a package installer like Anaconda is with the one install, you're getting Python, but with a ton of packages, a ton of the core packages that people use, especially for scientific computing. So it's great for beginners because it's very straightforward. One install, all the packages you need, no confusion, and yeah. So if you want to start with Anaconda, you just come to their page. You can just search Google for Anaconda. Come down to the downloads and pick your install, either 3.6 or 2.7. So once you have that installed, you're, you're ready to go. So if you open up a command window, you can type Python, uh, Python, and you start an interactive uh, Python shell in your command window. So you can see I have Python 3.5 with Anaconda 4.2 installed. And I can go ahead and do my Python stuff like import NumPy, import pandas, and you know, off I go. So that's good, but let's say you want to have different versions of Python, or for example, say you're working with a group and you want to make sure everyone has the same version of, everyone is working on the same version of Python, everyone has the same packages installed. So for a situation like this, the Conda environments are really useful. So if you want to create a Conda environment, you just use the command conda create dash dash name. Let's give it a name uh, project one. So, and then let's specify, let's say we want version 3.5. And then we specify the packages we want. So let's just start with pip. So what this does is conda create means create the virtual environment. The name flag means that the next thing here is going to be the name of the environment and then you specify the version of Python if you don't specify the version of Python it's going to default to the highest one which is currently 3.6 and then you specify the packages you want so uh, let's, let's also install um, NumPy as well so it's going to go ahead and create that new environment for us list what we're going to install. We say yes. So it goes ahead and does all that. So yeah, so it finished and we have our environment. So if we want to use our environment, the command is to activate. So you just type activate and then you give it the name project one. So when it activates it, it adds the project name just right here so that way you know your that's the project or the package or the environment you're using so now if I go ahead and type Python it opens up a Python shell in our command window and we can import numpy because we installed that package but if we were to import say uh, pandas we'll get a import error because we don't have pandas so with this package, we can go and use pip to install stuff. So let's say um, while we're act while we have the environment activated, we could do pip install. Uh, let's do matplotlib, and it's going to go ahead and download matplotlib for us. And let's see. Hopefully, this one doesn't take too long. And boom. So now if we do Python import matplotlib, yeah, so no import error. So then you can all make sure you guys are working on the same version of Python and packages. So let's say we want to create a 
environment with a different version of Python. Let's say we want to do a, a Python 3.6 version, or let's do Python 2.7. So let me go ahead and deactivate. So the deactivate means go back to the root environment. So that's like your default environment. So let's let's do the same command. So we do conda create dash dash name. Let's call it pi27. We'll specify Python uh, 2.7. And let's do the same thing, pip and pi. So we'll say yes. Goes and downloads all that stuff for us. Really doesn't take too long and boom so now if we activate pi 27 we can type Python and you can see we're using Python 2.7 now and we if we import numpy we have it because we specified it and yeah and while this is activated, we can go and do pip install, whichever package we need to, you know, get whatever package we need. So if you're, if you want to check on your environments, you can do um, conda info dash dash envs, and it'll list all the environments you have installed. So here's the one we just created before, project one. Here's the one we also just created and the asterisk means that that's the active environment and then I also already have a Python 2.7 and a 3.4 a tensorflow environment and my root install so let's say you want to create an entire copy of anaconda but for a different environment which and what I mean by another version of Anaconda is you want all those packages like SciPy, NumPy, Matplotlib, all of them but for a different version of Python. So it's the same command conda create dash dash name um, I don't know project 2 you just give it a name and instead of listing all well yeah and then the Python version you want let's say 2.7 and then instead of like listing all of the names of the packages, you just say anaconda. So when you do this, that, that anaconda flag means all the packages. So I'm not going to run this because it takes a while to install that. But if you want, you can yeah do full anaconda copies. So you don't have to go to the website and like there's no need to go and click and get 2.7. You can just do it in the command. Uh, command line. So let's say I want to remove a package. We just do conda, conda remove dash dash name. Let's get rid of project one and dash dash all. It's going to ask me if I want to. I'm going to say yes. And now if I do conda um, info and ENVs, you can see that project one is gone. And if I deactivate and I do conda remove uh, name pi27 dash dash all, let's get rid of that other one. Not remove current, oh, deactivate. So, and then I can, yeah, let's remove 2.7 or pi 2.7. Yeah, so that's basically it. There's some other things like you can, when you run this, you can feed it a list. Like say you have a text file that contains all of the packages you want. You can run that conda create um, command with and then feed it a file with a list of all your um, packages you want. You can also ex export a list of all the packages you have installed so that way you export it, you send it to your friend and then they can easily go and create 
um, an environment that matches what you have. And it's all explained in the Conda documents. So if you go search for um, Anaconda environments, it'll take you here. And it really is a, goes through and explains all those um, commands I was going through. So that's pretty much it. Um, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to help. And yeah, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.